First and foremost, I want to thank all my subscribers for not abandoning me as I have been unable to make videos as freely as I used to do due to the truth I share not being allowed on certain venues. However, I do plan to start making videos again, but mostly as it pertains to the churches, as they are the only ones that are going to want to hear it anyway. For those that want to keep up to date on end time events that are often censored by YouTube, I do continue to alert the brethren each and every week on my blog. So if you want information on what's happening all around the world, please subscribe to the blog. But that all being said, if you're a student of prophecy, you know for a fact that Jesus Christ is coming very soon. This present truth needs to go out now more than ever before. All the churches are asleep in apostasy, and they need to be warned. But none of them are as sleepy as the Seventh-day Adventist people because, as prophesied in Matthew 20, verses 1-7, to and Revelation 12, 17, they were called at one time to define prophetic symbolism in the prophesied ninth hour, when the end times officially began, as prophesied in Daniel 8, 14. But as also prophesied, they fell into sin. So they must be warned that if any Seventh-day Adventist pastor or church member is still in the SDA church, when the obedient ones already left to partake in the final message of the loud cry, if you stay in that church, you will most assuredly die in the plagues in a very graphic manner. Not only do I have ample Bible verses compiled here and here proving what time it is, I also know the SDA people know that Ellen White is a verified prophet who stated many warnings onto their Babylonian condition of their church, but many of them are unaware she said the following for the church members still sitting in the pews. The indescribable wrath of God is your lot, for she plainly stated, renewed, purified, sanctified, the church must be else the wrath of God will fall upon them with much greater power than upon those who have never professed to be saints. And when it comes to the Seventh-day Adventist pastors, who, as prophesied, are part of the many false prophets that Jesus spoke of in Matthew 24, 11, they will soon be shuddering in abject terror directly before Plague 7 hits and kills them in a very graphic manner. For she also stated, that above the terrific roar of thunder, voices, mysterious and awful, declare the doom of the wicked. The words spoken are not comprehended by all, but they are distinctly understood by the false watchmen. You know, the pastors? Those who a little before were so reckless, so boastful and defiant, so exultant in their cruelty to God's commandment-keeping people are now overwhelmed with consternation and shuddering and fear. Their wails are heard above the sound of the elements. Demons acknowledge the divinity of Christ and tremble before his power, while men are supplicating for mercy and groveling in abject terror. And just so you know, as the true obedient remnant receive ten times the blessing of the Holy Spirit when the latter rain falls more abundantly, the Seventh-day Adventist pastors will experience ten times the wrath of God instead. For it is also written, loud wailing cries were heard in every direction. It was you who kept me from receiving the truth, which would have saved me from this awful hour. The people turned upon the ministers with bitter hate and reproached them, telling them, You have not warned us. You told us all the world was to be converted and cried, Peace, peace, to quiet every fear that was aroused. You have not told us of this hour, and those who warned us of it, you said were fanatics and evil men who would ruin us. But the ministers, I saw, did not escape the wrath of God. Their sufferings were ten fold greater than their peoples. So how does the apostasy in the Seventh-day Adventist church end? Since there is not a single Bible prophecy from Genesis to Revelation that says the Seventh-day Adventist church reforms onto obedience, there is only one way for the apostasy to end in the Seventh-day Adventist church, and that is when Plague 7 destroys every pastor standing behind the pulpits as well as those sitting in the pews 
in one fell swoop. Thank you for watching. God bless.